Hello RV Adventure fans. One of the things I've always been concerned about with the trailer is the fact that we have an outside porch light outside the door, but you can't turn it on from inside. And this came to the forefront recently. We were staying in an RV park and at about 10 p.m. at night, someone comes banging on the outside of our trailer, starting at the back of the trailer coming around under the window where Cindy was sitting. I was sitting on the other side. And then banging on the door saying, help, help, I need help. Well, it was dark. It was 10 o'clock at night. And so we turned off the inside lights so we could see outside better. There was no outside lights in the campground. And we opened the blind to see if we could see out. And by then, the person had wandered from our trailer over to the trailer next to us, banging on their door needing help. Well, um, after we assessed that there was really no threat there, I went outside with the person from the trailer next to us, and then by then the lady that was yelling asking for help went to another trailer across behind us, and through all of this commotion, the police were called, they came out and investigated, and come to find out, a couple had had a little too much too much to drink, and she had left the trailer, uh, afraid that the husband might hurt her, and uh, so the police took care of the situation, but it kind of frightened us enough to where we had a hard time seeing out what was outside, and I didn't want to open the door not knowing what was out there. So I want to be able to turn on that porch light from inside the Casita trailer. And so to do that, I ordered from Amazon a little um, toggle switch on off. It has a little frame that it sits in. And um, I'm gonna install this toggle switch inside the trailer on the side of the bulkhead here where the uh, pantry cabinet is. And uh, I'm gonna figure out where the wires come from. I'm gonna mount this somewhere and I'm going to show you how I do it in case you want to do the same thing in your trailer. So let's get started. This is our outside porch light. It has the switch here where you can turn it off and on. But I want to uh, put that switch on the inside of the trailer. Probably somewhere right about here or maybe even up here. Uh, one place either here or here so that I can turn that light on from the inside instead of having to turn it on from the outside. So I need to figure out where exactly the wires are. I know the wires come in the back of this fixture straight through the side of the trailer. And that's about level with this right here. Looking at the light here and around here. So somewhere thereabouts where I've mounted this bolt and this little bolt that goes all the way through here is where those wires are. So I'm going to see if I can find them that up in here here's the screw where i put that in right there so right in here back here is about where that um, wire should go into that light but where is it this way i want to try to determine that so i'm going to go out and measure so i go over to this door frame from about there and it's about 11 inches roughly so i'm going to measure here from that door frame over three inches to the fiberglass. All right, that means it's eight inches roughly from here over to where that light, um, roughly to where that wire goes into that light, about eight inches. So that's right about here. And I see a kind of a raised area right here. Um, so I know there's some wire right there behind that carpet. So the next step is to cut some of this carpet away. I'll glue it back on the wall later and see where that wire is going. So I'm going to take my trusty little uh, box cutter knife and cut that carpet away. See if I can put a screwdriver through that little hole I just made. I'm just being careful because I don't want to cut any wires that may be back in here. All right, with the discovery of the wires right there, I'm going to go on across where I see this bump here where a lot of wires are. I'm going to come on across here gently 
and see if I can just keep working to pull this carpet down a little bit. All right, so I'm gonna work across here gently. You can see the padding on the back of the carpet and how it's glued to the wall. Re-glue all that down when I'm done here. And keep going across here. Here's a little bump where I believe there's some wiring, so I'm gonna be real careful here. Try to peel back a little bit of that padding. Now, I can see now that here are four rivets. Here, here, here. There's one there behind that wire. So this is the wire that I want to intercept and uh, put the switch on this black wire. I'm going to pull the fuse on it so that there's no power going to this wire so I can cut into it. Okay, the two cabinet doors are, are kind of in my way for this project. I can't get up close to it. So I took the bottom one off. Just removed the, the four little screws from the hinge. I'm taking the top one off now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to be cutting into this black wire here. Cut it. Splice on another black wire. Run it over. And then I'm going to go up through this carpet here, right here, into the top cabinet. I've already kind of pulled it back out of the way so I can see what's going on. I had to take my uh, razor knife and do a little cutting to kind of loosen it up a little bit. It was glued in there and as you can see some of the stuff just kind of sticks there. Again, I'm going to glue all that back. No big deal. And for those of you who are always wondering about the casitas, how well they're insulated, well here's how it works. The casitas are lined with carpet. As you can see the carpet has just a tiny little tiny little backing to it and then this foam rubber is um, glued to it and then that's glued to the fiberglass this is straight fiberglass so that is the insulation that's in the trailer and my wire that I'm going to run is going to come up through here okay here's the back side of the switch where I'm going to hook the wires in and there's the switch itself so I'm thinking I put it right about in here Okay, the wire that uh, is used in the trailer uh, that goes out to the light fixtures, that black wire up there that I showed you previously, is an 18 gauge wire. So I have some 18 gauge uh, primary wire here. You can get it at auto parts stores or hardware stores or whatever. Pull out some wire and start making connections. I'm going to cut it here. And then I have these splossers. Just a plain old uh, little splosser. I'm going to put, put a splosser in there and splos it. Alright, that'll hold that carpet out of my way while I cut the wire and get it ready to go. Take my wire cutters, wire cutters, crimpers, strippers, all in one tool. And I'm going to cut that wire right. There we go. Now, here I'm going to put a connector. So, I'm going to take the 18 gauge stripper, kind of tight in here, hard to kind of see, but that's okay. Do that, do that. I don't know if you can really see that or not too good, but uh, i got my wire stripped now, like that. I'll twist it. We'll strip this side, same way. Twist that around a little bit, pull, and it's stripped. I'll take the, the piece of wire from my spool of wire, do the same thing, strip it. Get it ready to go. Little twist, little pull, stripped. Okay, now, so you just put that in there like that, push it in pretty tight, and take the little crimper end, and squeeze. That's crimped. Alrighty. This is for the power going to the switch. I'm going to put this end in. Put it 
in as far as I can and then crimp it right there make sure that stays in crimp and then I like to crimp the middle as well there we go yeah all crimped that wires made up okay now I always like to kind of overdo things and when I'm dealing with any kind of electrical circuit even though it's only 12 volts I don't want it to ever come apart I don't want it to ever be a problem underneath that carpet and I don't want to ever have to access it again I want to do this once and be done with it so I'm going to get some electrical tape and tape that completely I'm going to start back here where this connector is I'm going to take my electrical tape and go around it pull it tight go around the crimped connection and I'm going to go all the way down to the wire there we go it's all taped up now cut that wire there we go and tape it over like so and that connection is all made up now I want enough wire that I can take this and kind of turn it back this way we're going to go up through this corner and come out and have enough up there so I'm just going to cut a long length here I got plenty of wire I want to make sure I have enough I'll shorten it and cut it to length okay I want to have plenty of wire I'm going to cut this now there we go now wires ready to go I'll take my screwdriver and push it up through here like so I'll have to feed it behind the carpet after I get it through there I see that now so I'm going to push that up through there and my wire is coming out at the top you can see the wire coming out up there grab that wire and pull it there we go all right so that's my hot wire and I'm going to go ahead and strip the end of it so I know that's the hot wire and just leave it laying here until I'm ready with the switch. Alrighty, I'm ready to get my next wire that I'm going to crimp ready. Let me strip that. Put my little crimp connector on there. Push that in as far as it'll go. Put that there. Crimp. There we go. That wire crimped be a little easier kind of tight there against that wall cut that tape go back here around the wire in the back and then just circle around put some electrical tape all the way around that crimped connector and the wires and I'll never have to worry about that again I'm gonna pull enough wire out of here that I can have plenty of wire to go up to my switch all right push it up through here Alright, you can see the wire coming up right here in this corner. Grab it and pull it. There we go. Pull the other one a little bit more too. Because it's got some slack. There we go. Now, both the wires are pulled up there. They're ready to go. Those will go to the switch. And these will be the little connectors that I'll crimp on that. That'll slide over those poles on the back of the switch. They'll just slide in there. The plan is to mount this way somewhere right about there is where I would like that to be. So I'm going to mark the top and the bottom. All right, got my pencil. Uh, like I said, I want to put that somewhere right about in here. I'm going to try to put it up as high as I can so that if I put something in here, it's not in the way I can still reach the switch and turn it off and on. So I think about that how I'd be good. Okay, so that's the top edge right there. Here's the bottom edge right there. So make that mark a little bit better right there, right there. I want to measure the this just to make sure, inch and a half, make sure I mark that good. 
inch and a half. Yep. Okay. Now, the width of it is one inch and one sixteenth. So I'm going to make it one and one eighth. Give myself plenty of room to get it in and out. So I'll put my tape measure on here. And do mark there. And a mark there. And the same thing at the bottom. But I'm going to use my level to make sure I have it straight. Oh, let's see if the level will fit more. Yes, it will. So, take that mark there. Get it level, nice and level there. Make me a line straight. Go over on the other side and do the same thing. Now, I have me two up and down marks. Now I'm going to get a level mark this way. Get my level level. Do a line this way. And go up to the top mark that I marked. And do a line this way. So, let me get the camera a little closer you can see what I've marked. Okay, now you can see that I have a rectangle drawn on the wall there. I'm going to double check the dimensions and make sure I have the, the correct width and height for that rectangle and I'll drill a hole in each of the four corners and then see about cutting out that piece of plywood glass so the switch will fit in there so let me get started on that all right I've double checked my dimensions one and an eighth this way and these lines are just a little shy of that so I can drill right on the line and the height is perfect so I'm going to take my drill and drill through here. Well, I guess i got to plug the drill in first. There we go. All plugged in. four corners are drilled and I'm going to uh, cut that out then I'm going to go up and down right here all right all right I've got my hole Let's see if the switch will fit in there. Alright, let's try that. Yep, fits in there perfect. I'm going to uh, make a mark where the two holes are for the mounting screws. Alright, have my drill bit, the right size. I'm going to drill these two holes. Two mounting holes, the rectangle, ready to mount my switch. Now in order to mount the switch, I have an 832, three quarter inch long machine screw, washer for the back side, and a lock nut so it won't back out. So I'll take my, my switch, I mark the top that I want it to be at the top, it's marked on the inside too. Put my screw in there, put it in there, and I'll go on the inside and put the washer and the lock nut on it. And do that for the bottom as well. Let's get it nice and snug. There we go. All right. Yeah, that side's done. All right. I'll wire it up. And this is the little cover that goes over it. Snap that cover on. There we go. Now with the light switch all mounted, all that's left to do is hook up my wires. And this is the hot wire that's coming from the power source. I'll make sure it's in there all the way, and it is. I can see that 
visually. Take my crimper. I'm not going to want it to stick out real far. Like if I just put that on there, it's going to stick out that far because I want the carpet to cover that up a little bit. So what I'm going to do is, there we go, put a little piece of tape over that and secure it just to make sure that it's um, not going anywhere. Interior lights working fine. Let's go out here and check the outside light. All right, we turn the switch inside. There's a switch. Works good, perfect. Turn the switch off. All right, one porch light controlled by the inside switch now. Okay, I'm gonna tidy up these wires. Kind of push them back against the wall pretty good. Pull off this duct tape. And I'm going to tape down these wires. Kind of like that. Just something to hold them in place until I get the carpet to cover it back up. Alright. Got some contact cement here that I'm going to put up here. All right, that's set for a few minutes now. I'm gonna push this carpet back up. Push on this some more and hold it down a little bit. Put a little piece of tape across the top of that joint. And in 30 minutes, come back, pull all that tape off. That carpet will be glued back in place like it should be. I'm gonna put a few pieces of duct tape across these wires to hold them down. I'm gonna hold this one down, take my glue. Put some across here. At the factory, they spray the glue onto the fiberglass walls. We're all back together. And this job is officially finished. So, if you want more Casita mods, more things you can do to make your Casita treasure better, or more things you can do to just any RV, subscribe to the channel, RV Adventures. And we'll bring you more things to come, as well as trip reports on all of our trips, campground reviews, national park scenery. Subscribe to our channel. I'm sure you'll like it. Thanks a lot. And I'll see you later.